three, two, one. Hi everybody, so today I wanted to do a really quick, um, kind of get ready with me. I'm still playing around with my editing. Um, I'm trying to see if like different filming styles and different editing, what's going to work for me. So just bear with me for the next few videos and how the videos come out might be completely different. Um, but I'm going to try to get like some tor- some tort? Some sort of like kind of consistency in how I edit. Um, I want to work something out to where it's easy for me to film and I can get videos out and it's not going to take me one not too much time but also it's not going to put need so much effort I guess is the way that I want to say it because I just can't with everything else going on right now being in school and stuff I need something that's quick simple easy but it's gonna look nice and it's gonna come out well and also it's gonna be useful for you guys if you are interested in like getting certain looks and things like that um obviously with like talk through videos if I'm doing like a review on a product it's easy to edit and do stuff but like for tutorials it's hard trying to get like angles and like I'm not really too much into this I don't know too much about technology and stuff um but it's hard to get like make sure you're in camera and that it's focused and trying to do all this stuff so bear with me for a little bit but I wanted to do a get ready with me before I head to class this is not what I am wearing I'm gonna throw something else on um, but I just wanted to show you kind of my look today I normally do more of like a cat eye sharp edge um, but today I wanted to do something that is a little bit more rounded um, just to give myself a different shape and do something different, I do use the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette, which I believe is on sale still. If not at Ulta, it's on Sephora on sale for like 30 something dollars, I think. Um, it's really inexpensive now because I paid like 50 something for this. So definitely go pick this up. I absolutely love it. Um, it's a really good just like everyday neutral palette. So I use some of the browns and like this blue here on the bottom just to give me a nice like smoky eye that's has a bit of color but it's not too crazy um so yeah I do my whole face in this video if you're interested I do my foundation and stuff so you guys can kind of get a feel for how I do it um I do plan to do a voiceover for this so let me know what you guys think of it don't forget to thumbs this video up and subscribe if you haven't it really means the world to me um and it also keeps me motivated to do more videos because I know that there is more of you out there watching me and there's definitely some more support and some more love going around so definitely don't forget to do that I will We'll have any links, product descriptions, and all of that all in the bottom bar so you guys can go check that out um, once you are done with this video or before you start. Anyway, I'll be done rambling now. I will stop talking. Hope you guys enjoy it, and if you want to see it, just keep on watching. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to be taking my Neutrogena Skin Clearing Acne Foundation, and I'm using this because I'm having kind of a bad skin day. If you want to know any shade names or anything particular throughout this video as far as the products go, I will have it all listed down in the description. I'll just give you guys more of a general idea of what I'm doing in the voiceover. So just go down into the description for more specific details. Um, so what I'm doing now is just taking a flat foundation brush, and I'm using that foundation uh, all over my skin in one thing even layer and I'm using the brush first before I go ahead and blend it out because I use a damp sponge and I find that this makes it easier and the sponge doesn't soak up as much product so now I'm just gonna go in with the damp sponge this is by real techniques and I'm just gonna go ahead and pounce the sponge all over my skin to blend in the foundation and I do this before I do anything else because I find it's easier to get around all the nooks and crannies of your face so I'm just going to apply this all over my skin making sure it's blended in very evenly and this foundation dries matte so if you're somebody who's oily it's going to work out great for you. That's why I particularly love it is because it lasts really long. And now I'm just going to take the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. I really like this because it's kind of like a thin formula but it gives decent coverage. It's not full coverage um, but it hides your bags really well and it works really nicely and it also has a matte finish just like the foundation. I like to keep the finishes of my concealer and my foundation pretty similar throughout so if I'm using a dewy foundation I use more of a dewy concealer. 
and I'm gonna apply this down the center of my t-zone the reason I do this sometimes is because I feel like it gives an overall more full coverage look to the skin I don't really do it to highlight I mainly do it just to give myself more coverage um, especially on days where I find that my skin is not doing so great so that's just a quick tip if you find that you have a lot of skin and prop like acne problems using concealer throughout your t-zone can really help conceal and give you more coverage throughout your face without being too cakey or like adding too many layers of foundation and I'm just going back in with the same real technique sponge same way and I'm just gonna blend it out I start with the t-zone first because I do like to give the concealer time to set and dry a little bit because I find that it provides better coverage if you let it dry down a little bit and then in the t-zone I blend it out first also so that I make sure that I don't get any weird lines and just harsh highlights in that area and now I'm just using a small little Ulta brand beauty blender and I'm setting my concealer with my Ben Nye neutral set powder now I use a lot of powder you don't have to use this much um, but I also do my eyes after my foundation so this kind of helps prevent any like eyeshadow fallout from sticking to your face and it also keeps your concealer in place all day since I have a lot of fine lines now I'm just going to take the same Ben Nye powder and I'm going to apply it using the flat side of the Real Techniques brush all over the rest of my face. I feel like using the sponge makes it look a lot more natural and if you have dry skin like me but you do like a matte finish and like applying powder, then this is a really good way to apply your powder so they don't look cakey and dry. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking my NYX Tame and Frame. This is in the shade Chocolate. I don't exactly love this product. The texture is a little bit off for me. Um, and it does have too much of a grayish tone that I personally love. Um, but I am trying to use it up since I do have it. And I'm using it on an e.l.f. like little angled brush. And I'm just going to start to kind of carve out my brows. Now, I don't do anything fancy with my brows. I don't fade them in on the inner corner or anything too much. Um, I kind of keep them consistent, just making sure that the inner portion is just a little bit softer than the rest, but not like a huge gradient or anything that you see some people do. I find that it doesn't look as good on me, and I just have a hard time doing it. So now I'm taking the MAC Paint Pot. This one I believe is in the shade Groundworks and it's just kind of a taupey gray. I wanted to go for a smoky eye today so I decided to do this um, primer instead of just a clear primer because it'll give me a nice kind of smoky brown base to start off with. Now I'm going to use my Gwen Stefani palette by Urban Decay and I'm taking a really light kind of beigey golden -y shade and I'm using that onto a fluffy angled brush and applying this right underneath my brow. This is going to clean up the brow a little bit in case there's any mistakes but it also really highlights your brow bone and sets the crease a little bit for your transition shade and your crease shades. Now I'm going to take this taupey medium brown, it's a really cool grey tone brown and I'm using that on a really fluffy brush and I'm going to go ahead and pop this in my crease just using windshield wiper motions making sure I keep the outer edge very rounded. I wanted to do more of a softer and round shape today with my eye makeup so just making sure you buff out that outer corner really really well so that there's no harsh lines. Now I'm going to take this kind of like burgundy eggplant type of color. Um, it's similar if you've ever seen MAC, I believe, I can't remember the color right now, but MAC has a color, oh it's Embark. If you've ever used Embark by MAC, it's similar to that, but it, in my opinion it's not as dry feeling. Um, the MAC one is a little bit drier in texture. So I'm just using this onto a larger pencil brush and applying it to the outer corners of my eyes. Then going back in with that fluffy brush and I'm going to just blend it out and make it softer um, around the edges. Next I'm just going to take this shade. This is the infamous Blackout by Urban Decay. And I'm using this kind of as a liner. I'm just going to use the tip of that brush and smudge this along the lash line. It doesn't have to be perfectly neat because I am going to wipe off the brush of excess product and then buff it out really well in a second. So as you can see, you're just kind of trying to buff it and blend it so that it's not harsh. You don't want it to be looking like liner. You want it to just be a smoky, like soft, hazy effect. Now I'm just going to take this light, it's kind of like a rosy champagne color 
and I'm gonna apply this onto the inner portion of my eyes but I'm gonna wet my brush first just because for me I have drier lids so wetting the brush with shimmery shades really helps me get them to stick and stay on and I'm not really putting this on top of the black I'm focusing it mainly on the open space that I have on the center of my lid and then I'm gonna just buff out a liner pencil on the bottom of my eye. I applied MAC, or not MAC, Urban Decay rather, Perversion on the bottom of my eye and I'm just blending it out with a brush right now. And this is just gonna be a base for another shadow. Now I'm gonna take a like deep navy shimmery blue and I'm just going to use that same brush and apply this right on top of that perversion pencil. The black base is going to really make this like deepen up and be more rich in color. So I'm going to apply that on top and then I buff out the edges a little bit with my finger just to make sure they're a little bit softer. Just because I find this brush can apply a really harsh edge really easily. And then using my NYX liquid liner, this is really inexpensive and I love it, it dries down matte. Um, I'm just going to do a really thin line of eyeliner along my upper lash line. This just helps in case there's any gaps where you put that kind of smoky eyeshadow earlier. Um, but it's not going to be anything fancy, there's no wing, you really don't want that to be the focus, you want it to stay smoky. And then lastly for the eyes, I'm just going to apply my CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom onto my upper and bottom lashes, just coating on a few good coats of that to make sure that your lashes are very thick. Now I'm going to move on to my cheeks. This is an Estee Lauder powder. Uh, again, I will have all the specifics in the bottom below. And this is just more of a cool tone powder. Since the eyes aren't really warm, I wanted to make sure it stayed a little bit more cool toned. And I'm buffing this on with a small dome brush. And then I'm going to take a very light creamy color, this is from Wet n Wild, and I'm just going to use that small like beauty blender from Ulta again, and I'm going to clean up my contour line, just because for me it's hard for me to get a really buffed out and like sharp edged contour without doing this method. Now I'm going to take an LA Colors blush, this is very rosy, um, and sorry for the face, it was just because it was a lot more pigmented than I thought. And I apologize also on camera, the colors are looking a lot darker than they are in person. In person, they definitely aren't this harsh. Now I'm just going to take an eyeshadow by Essence. It's like a dual-ended eyeshadow. And I'm just going to apply this onto the tops of my cheekbones and a little bit above my brows, just kind of bringing it up in a C shape. You can wet your brush too if you feel um, if that makes it a little bit more intense. I just decided to use it dry today. Now I'm using my NYC Sunny Bronzer and I'm using that on a fluffy Eco Tools angled brush and just going to kind of contour my nose. I'm still kind of getting the hang of this. I'm not exactly like a perfect at it, um, but I'm trying. And then I'm using the same highlight on my nose with a fluffy brush. And just blending off that powder with like a dual fiber brush or anything that's soft and fluffy that's not really going to um, distort any of the colors. And that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if the editing is still kind of off. I'm still trying to get the hang of it. If you liked it, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. It really means a lot. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, everybody.